I would take you along while I'm making dinner tonight. It's just, I'm not following a recipe, I'm just throwing some stuff together I'm going to start with. It's about two pounds of hamburger. And I'm just going to fry it up. I just realized I don't have a spatula. Oh, I do have one right here. <laughs> so, uh, first thing I have to do is fry this until it's nice and brown. Don't want to bore you with that. No, so we're going to pause right here. The hamburger's starting to brown, and I am going to add some onion. This is a quarter of an onion. Yeah, not too much. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt. Ow! Burnt myself. Try not to burn a pot holder. It's almost ready. Do you know how you can tell when the hamburger is thoroughly cooked? When the juices turn clear. They're cloudy and then they become clear, and that's just about it. Now, this dish that I'm making is low carb and it's THM friendly. This will be a THMS because of the ground hamburger, but it will be good. I know that, even though I'm just throwing stuff together. So now the hamburger is ready, but I don't want all the fat. You may want all the fat, but I don't want all the fat, okay? I don't like this pot holder. It's really hot. I'm going to use the pot holder. So now, I take a spoon. And it's pretty quick. Here, all the fat. Yeah, I'm going to it out. Yeah, I'm going to go to I'm going to add this chopped cauliflower. I'm going to cook that down. Yeah, I'm using my hands, but you know, I'm going to eat it, so it's not like I'm working in a restaurant. And don't worry, I washed my hands. Of course, I'm going to let that cook for a while. Just soften that up. I thought about using rice cauliflower, but I, I don't like curried foods. The, the dogs are waiting at my feet so that if I spill anything, they can eat it. Okay, I'm going to turn that down because I don't want it to burn. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take, you see this over here? This is a half a cup of whipping cream, of cream, heavy cream. It's that. I want to get every little morsel out of there. Morsel? Drop. It's a liquid, so it's a drop, not a morsel. And a pretty simple drop. And I've got two eggs here in this bowl. Can you see that? Just raw eggs. I'm going to mix those up a little. I'm going to add those to the whipping cream. And mix it all together. So that when this is ready, I've got a, what you call this, roasting pan, a lasagna pan. I'd say lasagna, it's kind of perfect for that. And I'm going to mix that, leave that there. Once it's all done, I'm going to put it in the pan. So we're just cooking it the cauliflower to the egg mixture, the egg and the cream. I'm going to add a half a package of cream cheese. And I should have softened this up a bit. It's not too bad. I think I need a bigger bowl. Uh, you know what? I can just put it in the cauliflower bowl. Put the cream cheese. Add that. And the whipped cream, the heavy cream and egg mixture. Together. Probably be faster in my handy dandy kitchen egg mixer there, so I might just do that. You know what? I think 
got to go through that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's right there. Why not? While that's mixing, I'm going to put the cover on and let it all cook. That's great. dog got into the trap. I'm also going to use some grated cheese. I have some awesome, do you see this? This is very aged Gouda or Gouda. Same difference. Very aged Gouda and I'm going to grate it up and get it ready to sprinkle on the top. You can use any kind of cheese you want. One I happen to have. It looks to be like about a cup of cheese. I think that'll work. Let's see how this is. Okay, uh, cauliflower is looking better. So I think I'm going to shut the pan off. And I'm going to pour this into my casserole dish over here. Now to this, I'm going to add the cream cheese, egg, and heavy cream mixture. I think that's it's still a little chunky. I should have let the um, cream cheese soften first, but this will work. So I'm going to pour it out. Because this is going to go in the oven, so it's going to bake anyway. Okay, now this cheese that I grated. Aged, very aged Gouda, Gouda. I'm going to sprinkle that over the top. It has a nice sharp flavor to it. See that? Looks good, doesn't it? I'm going to pop that in the oven. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to start timing it maybe 30 minutes and see how it does. So, while that's baking in the oven, I'm going to clean up and maybe I'll work on some dessert. Timer's going off. Time to check on the cauliflower hamburger dish. Cauliflower. Ah, it's a little bit hard. Cheese melted and it's bubbling. I'm going to put it back in the oven for maybe oh 10 more minutes or so. It's been 10 minutes. Timer's going off again. Pull it out of the oven. The dog's out of the way. Oh, this looks beautiful. Look at this. Can you see that? Oh, it's heavy. Alright, that looks finished enough. I bet it's nice and oh cauliflower is nice and tender. Oops, I didn't mean to pull that out. Time to scoop up the cauliflower hamburger dish. The one thing I would add to it that I didn't think about ahead of time would be bacon. Bacon would give it more flavor. I did try a bit. I scooped up another plate first, so it's pretty good. Not too bad. <laughs> 